hoist now. Russ is getting straight to work. We ripped our bonnet off. My car has a cold air intake, but that's literally, that's it. Cold air intake will have a tune. Um, we won't, we're not expecting big numbers exactly from the tune, but just to tune up, get a bit more, a little bit more spice out of it. How crazy is this though? So obviously factory brakes, pretty cool. Trav's brakes are huge, they're minor like that. But how is the tire? Well, I have a big hand. That is a monstrous 325. Freaking 325. 325 3019. Like, it's insane. I think the fronts, I believe, are a 275. So that's, this is a good reference. 275 325. Isn't that just. Yeah, that's crazy. That's wild. That's a factory size. And I was spinning those. I've actually said to you to stop spinning, spinning them because I'm going to buy them a fluke and bring them home. But really, there's no use. They're fun. No, mint. <laughs> yeah, I'll take them to the truck regrouper. They're not even on wear markers here. <laughs> that's the inside. That's the outside. <laughs> yeah. I'd say the old owner flipped them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, so, bay name today FDF lowers in the front, FDF uppers in the rear uh oil cooler I've got a fancy little oil cooler here so very nice oil cooler with its own spell and the radiator which i spoke to you guys earlier in this vlog about so um <laughs> can be going um that's my add's really kicking in right there so we're gonna go ahead get to work get the rest of the stuff done yeah it's gonna be good all right, things are moving on pretty fast here. I've already got the rear arms in. We did that on Trav's car yesterday. I can't remember if I filmed it or not. Russ has got the radiator out. Just, I guess you're just working out or thinking of where the radi uh, the uh, oil cool. cooler is going to go. Yeah, planning it as I go. Yep. Yeah. Um, and we're obviously learning here. Your first time properly. On a vet. On a vet. Or well, yesterday doing the thing, but we never pulled anything like this out. No. Um, we think my car might need engine mounts, so I've pulled the cats out. Turns out the cats were blocked with precious metals, so we got rid of those um, precious metals, and now the cats are just, uh, they'll flow a lot freer now. High flow cats now. High flow cats, yeah, high flow cats, um, which means we can probably shoot some flames now, which is nice. Overall, yeah, it's going swimmingly. Yeah? Russ is happy, I'm happy, things are actually easier on this car got good so tunes. far. Yeah, good music, we had to turn it off obviously to film this, but we got the tunes cranking. And yeah, basically I, I feel like we could even be finished before lunch at this point. I don't want to get excited, but it, it's, yeah, I shouldn't have said anything now, fuck. All right, see you guys in a minute. <laughs> Things have been going reasonably well. All the arms are in the car now. Uh, radiator is in. Uh, unfortunately though, we haven't been able to get the oil cooler in because they sent us an oil cooler with the wrong lines. The wrong thread here versus here. So unfortunately, that's not gonna happen right now. Um, Trav and Max are in the background there. They are off to get a wheel alignment. We are going to put water in my car, put the hood back on, and get off to the uh, wheel alignment as well. So, pretty, um, yeah. Getting excited now, we're getting close. We've got everything situated for the oil cooler. We've even done the mounts. I think all that's really left to do is a bit of trimming on some other pieces to like get it perfect. Um, we've actually welded some nuts in on there. We, we put bolts. those bolts, we put those bolts, we welded bolts to like the crash rail to uh to just make everything more better so you know we're we're happy with got so far um all my wheels and tires introduce you guys to a new sponsor um but we're going to be down at the shop fitting stuff when you see us in a sec Whoa, 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 oh, fuck. 
fuck me, can't. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What's that going on? All right, guys, we ended up getting most of the work put away and done. I tell you what, though, I am beyond pumped to announce that I'm going to be working with Kanzai wheels in the States. And man, we just fitted into the Corvette and I'm so freaking excited. It just, it's just really starting to feel like it's mine now. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, oh, man, I got rust driving it around. Oh, the lock is starting to look good too. So I'm running the Kanzai Astro wheels. I actually, first time I saw these things, I absolutely freaking loved them. Because they're an 18, but because the spokes are so long and go right to the ends, it really does look like it's a 19 or something. So you'll see the Kanzai signage on the side of the car now, rocking it. I am so freaking happy with this car, guys. It's really coming together now. A few little things left to go. Um, the guys that did my stickers really killed it. The car's actually super dirty at the moment, so don't take notice of that, but they match the wheel really well, like the stickers really well with the wheels, which is kind of what I wanted. Um, yeah, super happy. We're obviously here, Trav's car's up on the alignment machine. So we are getting ready to get the alignment done in this car. So we're going to see how much of the alignment will pull out these front wheels for fitment. But we went with an 18 by 9 plus 22 front and an 18 uh, 10 and a half plus 12 rear. So the rear is like, the rear is perfect. Um, try and ignore the tyres that are currently on the car. These are just some burners that we put on some secondhand ones. Normally, we're going to be running a 285 or a 265, basically, which gives a way media look, which these are also the same size as the ones on my car now. So you see they look way media on the 10 and a half and a taller sidewall, which you kind of need to fill up the huge guards that the Corvette has. I know, let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. I oh, know. This was a stock car a week ago when we picked it up in Texas and now here with it just looking pretty freaking rad. I'm just excited to uh, excited to do some first proper skids in this thing really soon. <laughs> All right, time is now 11 p.m. We finally got Trav's done. We ran into a bunch of issues, but it's done. Mine's coming in now. Man, I'm loving it on the Kanzai wheels, but it's on its way in now. We're going to try and hopefully get it smashed out super quick and uh, it'll all be good. Finally finished the alignment guys, um, didn't get as much camber as we would have liked out of either car and again that's just down to what I explained earlier with the whole shim situation but we're speaking to someone online just before and yeah. they said you can run a full half inch um, spacer to space the front out at the arm which yeah. would literally get rid of all that friggin camber. Yeah, it would bring it back to a more reasonable sort of three degrees or something. So Luke and I both set us set ours up to around about roughly five degrees, but with the shims in the top of those arms, it's going to pull it out to three three degrees both sides. So. If even less. Yeah. So. Oh, hopefully less. Yeah, especially especially if it's half inch, that's huge. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's why my fitment isn't perfect on the front yet. So I'm a bit of a fitment fanatic, so <laughs> I want it to be have good fitment. Doesn't quite yet, but we will get it sorted. And uh, yeah. I'd extend a massive thank you, Big Dylan. 
MVP. <laughs> Literally, MV MVP. We rocked up here at 5.30. I was here And it is now... Literally 12 o'clock on the dot, midnight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shattered. I'm, yeah. I've, been, I've been awake since yeah. 3 a.m. Trav had to go pick up his wife and kids at 3 a.m. I woke up at like 7. And I'm still, I'm actually not that bad. I'm tired, but I'm not definitely nowhere near as what you'd be feeling. I'm stoked. What a day. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. See you next one.